Hey guys, let's look at a breakthrough to showdown kind of idea. I'm playing white against a 1Q. And I felt quite disoriented in this game. So making choices was difficult. Let's do you do that sometimes? You're playing go and you're kind of like some days you just don't know where to go. I remember back in my five dawn days, there was a big tournament about to happen. And uh, I felt a complete lack of any idea how to play Go. I, mean, I was like, I don't have a clue. So I thought, well, that's the perfect time to go to a tournament and see what I can produce when I, ha when I feel that I have nothing. And um, did just five, did, did just fine. Okay. I'm white. Uh, AI's had a lot to say about this uh, low Chinese. And it says, you know, just play here right away. There's no reason to futz around. Uh, let's look at the standard way of looking at this. Sente. Let's talk about why this is sente. Let's say black plays away. Turn. Hmm. It's getting a little bit awkward here. Let's assume this. Atari, Atari, down, fix, connect. We've really pushed down black down dramatically. The big old low Chinese has ended up being pitiful so he doesn't like that one bit which is why i consider it sente he responds and it's better putting it here same move but better and then here <clears throat> i came across this the other day and the ai said i was completely wrong about it and i'm like i don't see how i can be what what do you mean i'm all wrong about it I went ahead and did some big move, whatever the big move was. I don't even remember the game. I remember this, though, that I was wrong about it. Actually, in that game, it was this way. Let's put it here. And I couldn't understand. It seemed to me that my A group was fine and that I could play away. AI said, no. Don't play away. That was hard for me. So, in this situation, very similar situation, I thought, well, emotionally, I want to respond, but I emotionally, I always want, want to respond. What is it about this that's different? So, in review, I looked at Let me get there. Just a second. Here it is. I looked at this three stone wall. AI says, oh, this wall's fine. Just walk away. You really have no problems at all. So I'm comparing that three stone wall with that four stone wall. And as I'm searching for understanding, I'm like, you feel like you're hitting a roadblock. Like, how could is it possible that this isn't even better than that? So, one thing I realized is that this little A stone is, how do we put it, peeking over. Uh, moving to the right, I can't say moving to the right isn't easy. It's more like black surrounding me from the top is easy and strong compared to here, 
where it's not easy or strong. And then I thought to myself, well, when black plays here, we never let black hunting. So here, ah, same thing. He, his, he can't do the surrounding move easy or strong. That's the most he can do, at which point I have options. I can, for instance, not that I would, but perfectly healthy. Okay, so I'm going through this and I'm deducing that this is mostly about his A stone being powerful around me. And I'm starting to come to emotional terms about that, you know. On top of which, he can play these moves without suffering, right? If I stop him, it's not like his corner's in jeopardy. So this is complete gote on my part. Well, if that's my gote, and now he can just start surrounding, all of a sudden I'm going, okay. You know, it's not about I'm about to die. It's about this group is feeling sad. So based on all that, I actually didn't look at it till after the game. I knew from the previous readout that this is where he wanted me to play. He, it, and I do like playing here. It makes me feel great to play here. So I went ahead and did it. And in, in uh, reviewing with Cawtrain, it said, yeah, that's the right spot. Okay, so that's a lot of words talking about my confusion, why that white's not okay, but that white is okay. Okay. So, yes, I went there. Okay. Now we're heading to the rest of the game right away. In review, it suggested a move for black here that kind of threw me for a loop. One would think big move, big move, big move, big move, big move. I mean, there's a whole bunch of really big places to play. And Cotrain suggested, you know, you should be playing here next as black. And I'm like, hey, buddy, you just told me to play F, this conservative defensive move, and now you're saying black can just come in to where was it there there come on here come on boom 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 there it is now that's weird to me i played extra conservative and it's still wide open i mean if it's if if it's just up to me and I'm not asking AI, and I feel as though this group needs help, heck, I defend it here. Because now this stuff's no good, right? Now I can just pounce on anything. Now I feel healthy and I have end game. So playing here and then AI says, you know, just play here next. So I looked at, uh, you know, what if I drop down? He's supposed to play here. I come across. He just gets out. I went over a lot of variations here. And each one, each variation, variation ends up with white's A group being okay and black establishes a group around B. I got to tell you, it made me feel like I don't know how to play Go. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm really not getting this. Sure, there's lots of ways where I do get it. But I would still, after looking at all that, I would have a hard time responding in these ways. It's hard. Okay, so we keep going. Black, of course, did not play there. 
And now I have some choices. You know, some corner move, some extension move. Uh, I went in and played here. Cotrain thinks it's fine. Big move, why not? Uh, we often play A and we often play B. Um, there's one, there's a negative about this move. And in this position, we're about to see if I was correct or not. I haven't checked it, checked it out yet. I decided that this negative was a bad negative. So let's see. Black, white, black. First, AI tells us don't go this way because, oh, sorry, don't go this way because this is really quite powerful. That's just one eye for white. Well, yeah, but you can capture it. Well, not necessarily. It's a code. So this group is actually kind of weak and very small, of course. So, so don't choose that one. Instead, choose this one. Okay. So the main variation is black plays here. If we capture We'll look at it this way. We're quite small in the corner, and black got all the outside. Now we have Sente, okay. And it's not, locally, it's not terrible. But even if I get my move here, I mean, that's a pretty big move. I mean, black's getting a lot here. So let's look at the other way, which is the main reason I didn't want to do it. Main variation, Atari. Atari, got to capture. Atari, got to fill. Atari, Atari back. Come out. Now, we'll, we'll go real simple, simple here. Let's assume locally the latter does not work for black. The white stone can run out. That's We'll start with this premise. In that case, back off, white settles. And now, since A and B are both alive, the C stones aren't particularly important. And it's going to take a little bit of effort to capture them or not be captured by them, this kind of thing. Well, this means that I'm making small life right next to a very secure black D group. That's a waste of time. Why am I living small right next to another alive group? I'm not affecting anything, which is why I didn't go this way. Uh, now let's look at the second variation while we're here. First one, if the ladder does not work for black, we play this way. If the ladder does work for black, everyone seems to agree that, yeah, too good for black. If you can just capture that stone, it's really big and thick towards the center. Then white plays this way. Uh, black goes to get out. How? I don't remember. I won't go further because I honestly don't remember, but it starts a fight, which to me in this case, Black's prepared for more on both sides. So I didn't like any of these variations, and I didn't want to get trapped in the corner. So based on all that, I know that sounds silly, all that just so I play it B. Well, I play A. 90% of the time, I like A. Most strong players don't. I like it. 
probably because I haven't, I don't play that many strong players. So I don't get punished. But anyway, here I could easily see being punished. I played a, a nine down a couple months ago. And in that game, I went way out of my way to not play this move. It would have been game over. So I went here, there also. Okay, so we're here. Uh, black. Now, this video is Breakthrough to Shodan. All that readout and what do you call that? Strategy, whatever you call it. I'm not suggesting to get to one dawn, you need to do that. Or to break out of one dawn, you need to do that. No. But if you are going to be a dawn player, you should know this Joseki. It's a standard Joseki. It's not complex, at least for one dawn. shouldn't be. I can imagine some tank you going, oh, my God, I have no idea. Great. Uh, so you know the Joseki, and you know that this is very straightforward and you might think well you know black's got so much going on around one i'm going to settle extra steady so he can't abuse me and grow it in sente or something you sh as one done you should have some idea when to play that move okay but all that being said we're here well no need to Atari, but I do anyway because I'm in Q mode. And he plays here, which seems to be biggest. Okay. I thought very seriously about playing away. Matter of fact, I think I did play away. Yeah. Now, AI doesn't like that. Let's look at what AI is not. It's like a half move mistake, right? So it's very subtle mistake. But let's look at its idea. Corner's pretty big. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four, fifteen points. Life, health, and a weak A stone. If I had been thinking clearly, I would just go this way. But I think it's worthwhile to discuss why I didn't. What stopped me from seeing the situation clearly? Well, this happens to me all the time. Ooh, look at my big wife. Such a wonderful position. I'm going to get a massive moyo. Let me put the stone down. Oh, my God, I'm going to get so much over there. That's a lie. There's no way to get extra on the left. So this is worth a full move. And this is worth a full move. Which one? Well, how about corner first with the future? This is corner, and with no black group next to attack. I mean, the other one, we have two black groups, A and the other one on the bottom. In other words, we're going to get Sente out of it. So a big difference. But I had some bloodlust, and anytime I start playing as a Q player for videos and stuff, it just puts me in this Q mentality. Embarrassing, I got to tell you. I often play so bad, I just get really embarrassed. But then, when I play a strong player and I play well, I just pleased as punch. Okay. Black. Good. I thought about playing away here, but sure, corner. Okay. There's discussion amongst pros. Do we continue or not? Now, I do not recall AI's opinion in general. Maybe we shouldn't call it an opinion. Maybe we should call it fact. I don't know. Let's, I'm going to call it opinion for now. I don't know AI's opinion in general. But if I play, it's his move to do 
whatever he chooses to do. Well, how much of a future do I have against the A stone? Not much. I'm down on the second line at B. I can't go killing the A stone next move. I didn't see a lot to it. Well, if I play away, which I did, what's Black's counter? Black's counter is this exchange, and now I'm alive in the corner, and he got that S5 in Sente. whoop de doo I don't see a lot of meaning for that black stone. Well, you know, if black adds a stone, he's going to get all of area one. You mean two, four, six, eight points? I don't care. So based on that, my decision was, I'm not going to play there. AI says, oh, you should play, but in a different spot. Now, I've seen this move before, but I've never played it personally. Okay, white, black, white. Okay, first, my corner is stronger. Second, I have a couple more extra points. Third, it's a cut. Cut under. I'm ready to say that the A stone is weak when you consider all that's going on, all the various weaknesses. There's a lot of weakness here for black. And white's not just alive, but alive on kind of the largest scale. Well, if I'd thought of that, yeah, I would have done it. I didn't think of that. Okay, so I started coming up here, which is uh, grow me, diminish him, right? Let's just look at the uh, different, the other one. That's a pretty big black area. I mean, I'm concerned. So I'm very glad to get sent to and come up here. AI says, no, don't do it. That's hard for me. This is a big move. Say, yeah, it's not that big. Really? Okay, now Black plays something that I have not seen since 1980. It was a move that Ishida Yoshiro played in the, in the 1971 Hanimbo series. I studied it. I learned all about it. I've never seen it played since until today. This sets up a co in the corner. So I'm like, what in the heck is he doing playing this move? There's no way I'm going to respond. So let's say he kills my corner. Check it out. He played one stone. I, let's do it this way. He played a stone. I play away. He plays another stone, starting a co. I make my co threat. He makes good the co and kills my corner. I have Sente to play away. So that corner, which affects nothing on the rest of the board, Black's all connected up and strong. So no effect. It's only the points. It's not points and bothering somebody. So just the corner, and I get three moves away. You know, my memory says it's four. I studied this at length, and we, my friend and I, decided it was four moves away what we just looked at it was three so i don't know but even three moves away pretty big okay ai agrees play away uh, i don't remember if it liked this move i seem to remember it, it thought it was an option boom boom 
Uh, bu -bu. Uh, here. Yeah. Move. Threatens the corner. Okay. Now, I bo well, that's why it's four. Because when he plays here, now I can start the co, and I get two moves away. So that's why it's four. Okay. AI says, get the co thing started with no intention of living. Because if you do that, it's kind of going to look something like this, where now there's Aji on the outside. And yeah, you're going to die in the corner, but you're going to get this kind of thing, right? And then later you're going to get this kind of thing. And you get outside, you're going to get Aji, and you, it'll be useful. So he gets the corner, but you got your moves away and Aji. Well, I didn't think that. So I just took another move ahead. Check out how close I got to my own area. I felt I can handle this easily. Now, I honestly don't know. Will I try to surround it? Will I just let him out the other side? I don't know. But I feel strong here. I thought if I went one further, you know, that stone might get separated and I could be in trouble. And he's very thick here. I did not want this fight happening. So I backed off. Black goes here. Yep. Here. Okay. Here I make my second big mistake. Did I make a first big one? I made, you know, you get these moves that are half move off, half point off. Ooh, a whole point off. Well, even that I didn't do. But we're here. The short of it is I decided to, I was thinking between A and B. I played A. I said, no, 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 no. B, B, B is much better. <laughs> so really? Okay, sorry. I mean, it seems somewhat obvious because with A, oh, I went here first. That was the mistake. I thought I'm taking the cash. Now, I did this specifically because I remember a game when Ru Nai Wei, the first ever woman Nine Don professional, she played this move in the exact same position no not really she played this move saying i'm taking the cash so i thought well if i don't play this i don't feel assured of the cash over there how about i play it and it's all mine well it's kind of a narrow area and hard for black to live there so ai says we'll just play your b i mean if black finds a way of living in there, you'll still get all the points on both sides and rip off his whole center. So it's not a problem. Okay. So I went there. He goes for the kill. AI still wants me to get some Aji going. Just for later. You're not going to live. Just get some Aji going. Right? Little Atari. Just get, get a couple Aji stones in there. Okay. I'm like, no. This move's actually a big mistake. <clears throat> uh, is it because Aji Keshi um, making Black stronger? No, no, Black's perfectly strong there. As a matter of fact, Black can just ignore. That's why it's a mistake. Even if he ignores and I say, you fool, really? Is there a problem here? So it's just, there's nothing here. Okay, so then why did I play it? Well, you could say, because I thought there was something there, and that'd be a great reason to play it. 
but that's not the reason I played it. <clears throat> I wanted this move. Therefore, I bet you there's something there. I didn't think there was something there, therefore play the move. I wanted the move and therefore reasoned, I bet you there's something there. Now, luckily he agreed, he fell for it. But AI says, it's just a wasted move, doesn't do anything. I mean, he can ignore it. Okay, so as a mistake, I didn't get punished. Press, AI agrees with, and then here, which should be here. Now it's obvious because in this scenario, I can surround something. I can make my stones touch. While in this scenario, I can't. Well, there I was again. I talked myself into something. Okay, he comes down. I come out, threatening, you know, problems for him. And I'm like, okay, you're cut. I'm happy to do this. And I go to cut, which looks good, but this is the same move, but more severe. At this point, there are no cuts in that white position. And that white position is home in a heartbeat. My move, I am already cut in that position. And I can go home in one and a half heartbeats. So it's weaker. Boom. Just go home. And now I must, I want to take care of my A stones. Okay. Help A, hurt B, use C. That's my logic. Now, I'm mistaken, but that's my logic, right? That's the pattern. So you play there. Black has the famous three in a row, so he's going to be dying soon. I've clearly helped my white stone because black is really weak now. And AI says, you know, not really. If you had, if that white stone were here, okay, black's about to die, sure, but it's not there, is it? Well, well no. So, so instead of leaving the weakness, what weakness? Well, for instance, I go to run out. Oh, I'm going to run out. Atari. Ah, I can't cut him for one. Six. I mean, he's cut, but there's. It's a weak position for me. AI says, just fix your darn stones. So this is the Ford on it on, in me when I'm like, oh, let me do more rather than just make a good solid position for later. That's how I see four dons as well. It's how I see three dons and four dons are early four don. You're trying to do so much. And finally, you go, no, just play strong. And poof, you're five done. He tries something fancy. It's a horrible move. I should just. Uh, this is a big mistake on my part. So this is all about our my A stones. Well, if I had my wish, what would I do? Run through and kill everything. Then run through and kill everything. I kept thinking kept focusing on his A stones. So I'm coming out here. Why am I focusing on his A stones? I have no idea. Boom. Sorry, okay. Boom. Fix. AI says, what are you, stupid? Cut him. He's dead cut him and i'm like oh right because i'm thinking again 
oh man, I'm really after those A stones. And now I can even connect across to my B stone. You'll die that way too. I am it's there's that attitude again of being fancy. Boom, boom. I get my cut in. He comes out. Now it's a liberty race. It's a big mistake. Fancy again. Should just get out at A. Just get my liberties, right? Get your liberties. Because that's what it is. It's a liberty race. This way, I actually, it hurts my liberties. But anyway, we're here. Uh, I can live for about four points more than what I got. I went this way thinking it's bigger, which I still think. And so I don't get four points. If I had played, I would have gotten those four moves, points. But instead, I'm getting these points and removing these points. So it's at least equal. If not, I think I'm getting more out here because I'm coming in and disturbing this whole area. Okay, here I miss an obvious one. I can play here and something's dead. But I play here, huge loss, like over 10 points. Now, I'm still 20 points ahead. So if I played this correctly, I'd be like 30 points ahead. But I'm thinking I'm ahead. I don't want him to have any Aji here. I'm going to play super strong. Well, not at a huge cost, you're not. And now we're just in game. Uh, and it's there's really nothing to do. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about this, but see how we can come in and start messing with things. And it's like, just so I just fixed. I spent a couple moves tidying up, and I'm, you know, just keep my 20 point lead and don't let a weakness come through. Okay, we're going to stop there. Hope you. Gave you some insight here and there. And we'll catch you all later. Bye.